Hello everyone and welcome to Around the Shack. I'm getting ready to build a dim bulb tester. Basically, it's a current limiting device. I've already gone to the hardware store and picked up all of the parts that I need for around $20. The extra Romex and computer cord I already had laying around from past projects. I have everything out here so you can see what needs to be used. The gentleman at the hardware store was nice enough to cut me a free piece of scrap 10 by 12 plywood so that I can mount everything on it. The outlet here is where the device under test it will be plugged in, most likely a tube radio that I'll be restoring. But those will be future videos. This switch here will be used to bypass for full load or to inject the bulb in series with the line for current limiting. And this switch here will be the main power switch. And of course, this is where the light bulb will go. Since most of the radios that I'll be working on use less than 100 watts, typically less than 25, I chose to use a single socket. If I need more power for another project, I can always add a light bulb splitter like this one here. The power cord is a spare three prong computer cord like I mentioned that I modified by cutting off the end and I will be grounding all of the metal. I'm going to go ahead and wire all of this up with some 12-2 Romex and I will be following this schematic right here and I'll show you the schematic in detail later. If you are watching this video and thinking about building a dim bulb tester then I can assume you already know how to wield a pair of wire strippers and turn a screwdriver. So I'm not going to bore you with a long drawn out video watching me strip insulation and twist wire and turn a screwdriver. So let me go ahead and put this together and with the magic of the camera I'll be back in just a few seconds. Before I show you the final product I thought you might like to see the inside so I took a couple of pictures. Okay, I'm back and everything is now put together. Everything is grounded, like I said, even the plate underneath the bulb. And mounted on this nice board um, that will eventually end up on the wall. Um, I've started writing on here the full dim test mode, main power on and off. Eventually I will put a, um, you know, a label on there, eventually meaning probably never you know how that goes and right now I have a 60 watt bulb in here so I want to give a quick demonstration of uh, uh, the safety features of this thing here uh, this is not grounded or this is not fused excuse me um, and I'll explain why here in just a few seconds so this is the way this works you know if this was on full load bypassing the switch and I was to short this out there would be smoke and all kinds of fun things would happen simulating a problematic uh, device under test that might draw more current than it should um, if it was to um, draw too much current the worst thing that will happen is the light bulb will come on just basically completing the circle of, of uh, how this thing is put together which is this way here which is very very simple you know um, this is where the plug is right here, the device under the test. Light bulb right here. Uh, this switch is this switch right here. Uh, main power comes in through this cord right here and to this switch right here. And that's the whole, that's the whole circuit. There's no fuse uh, because all of the devices that I'll have plugged in after this, before the final actual device under test gets plugged in, uh, isolation transformer, variac, things like that. They have fuses, so I don't need to fuse this right here. So another quick test I can do here is um, I have a drill that takes up more power than this 60 watt bulb. So I'll plug this in right here and show you the drill. And this is the drill right here. Oh, I'm gonna turn it on. See what happens is is it's just drawing more power than it can so if this was like a, a tube radio and it was starting to you would come on like this and all of a sudden it started to go like this with the light I would go oh that's not good so I would turn it off and the, and the device would be saved 
you know, if I click this over to full load, it works just fine. I don't want to crank it too much because it's really loud on the video. But under dim bulb test, well, you know, the dim bulb does exactly what it's supposed to do. So all this extra real estate here is for this isolation transformer. I'm going to put that here. And eventually, drill a couple of holes right here, and it's going to go on the wall. And that eventually is going to be uh, very soon, because I don't have a whole lot of real estate here on my desk. And the way I have this set up, um, or will have it set up, is um, this outlet here will accept either um, the uh, isolation transformer, or it will accept the, the Variac right there. More than likely, what's going to be the Variac will plug in to the um, dim bulb tester, and the isolation transformer here will plug into the Variac. And it's all going to basically just be right there on mounted on the wall to keep my bench free. And that's how it works. That's all there is to it. I hope you appreciate the video. If you do, subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Thank you for stopping by.